Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Emily Asks. I'm here with Richard from Chain Net. How are you today? I'm great, Emily. Thanks very much. Good, good. Um, so today Richard is going to be speaking to us about Beyond Multinational Programmes or BMP. Um, so first things first, what is BMP? Well, BMP is a is a software platform that um, that insurers, large multinational insurers uh, who are wanting to write multinational business I, I policies in many different countries, generally for, for large uh, corporates or, or their captives, um, to uh, administer the process of getting the local policies out to their community of either internal insurers uh, who would write in, in, in it, in, in, in the different countries, so it might be if you've got five different coverages on five different in five different countries, uh, you would want your local insurers to write the local policy for that business uh, underneath a, a all covering master policy. Um, it allows that that master underwriter to essentially um, share the details of the the policies required or the cover required with their colleagues or their partners, because maybe third party partners using the system as well as um, uh, internal um, local underwriters, um, allows them to share all the details of that, allows the local um, provider to understand what coverages are required, what conditions need to be included, uh, their share of the premium, i.e. how much is for the local, how much premium for the local policy, and coordinate that entire activity uh, whilst under quite a lot of time pressure, typically from a broker needing a, a response um, to the, to provide a quote to them back, so they can share that with it with the the potential insured. Um, and it's a relatively complicated process as it stands because it of the amount it. of communication that goes on. So we find that typically there could be upward of eighty or a hundred emails just to uh, get to the point of getting a quote sorted out um, to go back to the broker. Uh, so it cuts down on a lot of communication effort and streamlines the whole process. Definitely. Um, yeah. So following on to my next question, you've already touched on um, touched it a little anyway, um, but what common multinational business sort of problems does BMP look to solve? So Emily, the problems um, that this platform solves is kind of due to the it's solving a problem of complexity across the board. First of those is I've already mentioned communication. Um, typically, when you're doing a multinational program, you you have many parties in it. It's by its very nature. Um, each interaction with, it, with with that network of, of folks needs to be clearly understood, made and captured, because we often need to walk back through these, uh, these, these sort of tracks of what I've done, when and, and, and whatever. We capture that entire audit trail of the communications and you can always go back to, to your partner and say, we agreed this on this day, or, or they can actually do it themselves. They don't have to ask you because they can see it. They can see the, the sequence of what's gone on. Second part is, is all, it's all about data. And we tra we're transporting information about the, the, the local policies to each of the participants, and they're looking at that, wanting to verify that themselves, negotiating back, saying, oh, you've forgotten this tax, or there's not quite enough premium for us. So there's a negotiation process tied up in the middle of this. And then the final bit of all of that is, do we all understand where we are at any given time? That's the status of, of, of the transactions that, we, that we're managing. And you have this complexity that just comes from the from the number of people that are involved in it and trying to get agreement whilst you're under kind of a time pressure to get this out from the broker. So you don't have a lot of time to do this to get a quote out um, uh, that you hope is going to be accepted. So it, it solves all of those problems. And these, these are sort of things that traditional um, systems just don't do um, because it's multiple different business partners different entities with their own systems. This provides a platform that allows you all to collaborate in one place uh, through, a, through a period of time. Perfect. Um, so how exactly does it work? 
Well, this is where the technology bit comes in. It, it is based on a technology called distributed ledger technologies. Um, that basically means that everybody accessing the system has their own record of the um, of the transactions going on, and it's only it's only the thing that they need to see. So if I'm if I'm only underwriting in UK for a, for a US policy that master. I only see the bit of it. I should only see the bit about the UK. Uh, I shouldn't know that it's also in Azerbaijan, Ch China, Singapore, etc. I don't need to see all of that information. I shouldn't see that information. The bit that I'm being asked to do is the bit between Britain and the USA. So the distributed ledger shares information, but it shares it selectively uh, and, and very securely with the audit trail in there. So the distributed ledger is really all, all about the enabling technology that makes this happen that you can't do easily if you're trying to do it on a kind of central platform. And as a local participant, I, I can log in when I want, I get notified what's happened to my, my local policy um, and I can respond on that. So it becomes quite, quite simple and straightforward for the local party because they don't have to worry about everything else. They just focus on their, on their bit uh, and they get on and they say, yes, I, I would like to participate in this. That premium is is about right. I've got a question here that I just need to ask you, a query that you can raise. Um, like, you've forgotten that tax, my local tax. Could you please put that in? And so it allows it to be a very simple dialogue going on between two parties. But overall, the guy in the middle, he or she can actually understand what's going on right across that, that group of participants uh, and uh, and do so and, sh and work with them on a very um, secure basis as as well. So it enable the DLT enables us to do these this kind of stuff um, in a way that's far simpler to do if you were to employ other traditional central technologies. Basically, amazing. It's the secret source. <laughs> the secret source. I love it. Love it. Um, so you've spoken about um, sort of partners and direct partners. How easy is it to implement direct partners or even third party users? Yeah, it, 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 it's easy on and we can do it in a couple of different ways. Um, if you as a partner want to absolutely keep your own record of, of what's going on and, and then integrate to your local system, so a, a local par partner may want to integrate with their policy administration systems, suck the data in, get it processed locally, and then issue policies, et cetera, out of their internal ones. We provide the the, note, the local node, and you can input in data, you can see information on that, and you have that all that information yourself. We can also provide a linkage in where we can we can do some more complicated stuff, but where we, uh, we bundle up access onto other onto a collective node um, and it's just as easy to integrate with to be honest. Um, all our communication data is sent out digitally um, so it can be consumed via the digital systems um, and platforms so and we publish the APIs that to allow you to do that or, you, or indeed you can just use a user interface and, and, and access it, see what's going on in there, type your, your responses in, put information onto it so you can use it in many different ways and you can you can start simple, move over to a fully integrated system if that works for you. Depends how many uh, how many policies you're, you're you're writing with your um, with your underwriter in a different country, essentially. But it also would allow you to do writing with lots of different people issuing master contracts. If they're on the network, it's a business network. Um, you can you can directly link to it, and all of your all of your uh, uh, underwriters with whom you provide a partnership relationship for writing their business in your country can be done. And, li and likewise, obviously, for the, the advantage to the master um, producing underwriter is they can do just manage everything on that platform across a wide array of uh, organizations. And you can mix and match these. So one, one, one organization can be using the user interface method. Another one can be fully integrated. You can bring in a new new one. We can provision a new node, or or indeed a new, um, uh, a, a completely new partner in a, under a day. 
Oh, wow. Oh, incredible. Yeah. That's amazing. And that's really useful as well, how you can all have the different views and yeah. you're not just stuck with one certain view. So that's really, really useful. Yeah, it's not, ju it's not just one way of doing doing it. There's multiple ways and you kind of pick and choose which which suits you as a as as, as a member on the network. Yeah, that's perfect. That's really, really good. And um, final question from me, and as we've said, you've already touched on this a little anyway, um, but what makes BMP different to the other tools that are currently out there on the market? Well, coming from a technology provider, I, you, we normally start with, um, uh, well, it's based on DLT, isn't it? So it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's magically different. That's kind of not very interesting to any, anybody using it. It's that we can provide a, a way of trading and, and uh, and doing business with with other partners on a network um, that really differentiates it. There are there are different ways you can provide that kind of thing, but the distributed ledger does offer you, offer simplicity in that, and it offers a number of the things I mentioned already in terms of the security, um, the speed at which we can deploy and, and and write new business on it. Um, so it all comes together with something which is the distributed ledger, which sits underneath as a sort of foundation. But that in itself should never be seen by the by a business unit user. <laughs> it should be, well, it should be, it is invisible actually. Uh, you just get the experience of using a platform that connects you with partners um, anywhere where they are uh, on a many to many basis. So, I, you know, as a local, I can have the, I can have relationships with many underwriters wanting to write multinational business. And as a multinational business provider, um, I can coordinate with global networks of people who are all on, uh, operating um, on this on these platforms. So uh, that speed, that flexibility, that that underlying security and and surety of what we're doing uh, is really what sets it apart from um, either tra either traditional systems of which there aren't very many, um, <laughs> or the manual mode of working of which there are a lot, which is um, uh, effectively email based passing of documents backwards and forwards to each other and hoping that you can track where you are. Incredible. Well, as I said, that's the final question from me, but do you have any final thoughts or anything else that you'd like to share to anyone? Well, I think um, if, if anybody wants a demonstration of what we can do, they, they're very welcome to contact us at any time. We can, we can actually show you it working in practice. This isn't vaporware, it's something that, it, that uh, is there available and um, it's best seen. <laughs> oh, amazing. I'll make sure that I'll definitely add our info at chainnet.com email so that people can get in contact if they wanted us to. But thank you again for your time, Richard. It's been an absolute pleasure to speak for you and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You Thanks, too. Thanks, Richard. Bye now. Bye.